Okay, I decided I was going to do some step-by-step -step for you guys. It turns out I can draw the whole thing and then I can roll it back. So that's basically taking all the steps out of what you see on the screen. So that's starting from scratch. So the very first thing I did was I did a sketch, sketch one. There it is there. Next thing I did was I extruded it. There it is there. Now I've got the sketch turned on so we can see it all the time. So you can see that dotted line. If I turned it off, it's, it's actually automatically turned off when I do the extrude. So if I'm having trouble grabbing something, I can say, well, let's turn on the sketch and we'll grab this sketch. So there I can, I can grab those, those lines, okay? So the second thing I did here is, is I used a, an offset tool to pick a line around this surface here. So let's roll it down here. So there's a sketch. I'd, so what I did is I, I clicked on this surface to create, you know, pick that as a surface to sketch on. And then I did an offset from this outside edge. So that gave me this, this inside border, if you will. So then I extruded that one. So I extruded it down and I, I put uh, remove material and let's get these uh, these planes out of the way they're kind of in the way so I'm going to go here turn off the top plane turn off the front plane turn off the right plane okay so a little easier to see now Next thing, I sketched four little boxes on the bottom here. So I didn't need to sketch those exactly the way I did. I could have sketched them lots of different ways. Um, I'm going to just, I'm going to delete them here and just try another way to sketch them in. So I'm going to edit my sketch. I can right click edit. Or I could just double click, I think, and it'll edit. Look at that. Double clicking it here puts me in edit mode. So right now it's on this face, the face of the bottom here. I'm just going to delete those suckers. Let me see. If I go like this, if I just drag, it selects them all, and then I can delete them all. Boom. So let's put them in um, using using boxes is the easiest way to do it. But let's let's do it with uh, with lines. So I'm going to go from there, in there, and there. Oh, I should also put one there and there. That's one of the things. These boxes always have to be. Uh, Closed. Anything that gets extruded has to have a closed profile. So uh, I need to make that 8 by 8. So let's make it 8 millimeters. Make that 8. Enter. The other thing I want to do is I want to make this the same size as this. So I use the, uh, the tools up here. Um, I want to make use the equals tool. Equals tool, there it is. So I'm going to make this and this the same size. So it's all black now. Now I didn't have to actually tie stuff into the corner here. When I was drawing the lines, it was picking that up and saying, oh, you want me to line it up with that? 
so it was automatically lining up this with this line, lining up this with this line. Makes it really quick to draw stuff. Now, I've got this all drawn up with its equals things on it. I wonder if I can copy and paste it. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can paste it. Let's try a control V. Maybe I have to do copy. Hmm. Oh well. I thought maybe I could just drag it over here. Let's try the box one now. Since we've got one all that's perfect, we'll, we'll try the box and see. If I go in the corner there, see there's already a it's it's saying if I click there, I'm gonna get a coincidence. You see the little the little T that says if I click there, I'm gonna get a coincidence. So I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag my box out. And I could drag it out anywhere and it would stop, but I want it to just drag it out to match this one. Notice as soon as I touched it, it highlighted it, eh? So that would now every time I go by that, it, it gives me the little, oh, that's lined up horizontally. So let's do that, line it up horizontally. So I click it on that spot. Now this other one, the position of this other one, I can probably, maybe I can get it if I go around this way. So let's try that again. We'll do another box. I'm going to right click to get over in that position. I'm going to start here and just drag out a box. Now I want to move that around. Oh. Now, right now, the box command is getting in my way. I can change that dimension. Actually, let's get this turned off so we don't make it equal to anything else. I can change that dimension. I double click on it. Let's change it to 10. Enter. So it changed all my boxes at the same time. Cool. I love it when, when it makes it easier for me. 
So I'm going to say OK to this. Hopefully, uh, even though I deleted these lines, it could, it's probably going to ask me to pick, pick a sketch next. What I'm talking about here is I'm going to say OK here. I'm not sure if the extrude is going to work anymore because these are all new lines. Now that they're new lines, it's probably going to want me to, to pick them again, or pick the sketch again. That is to do extrude 3. So I'm just going to say OK. So the sketch is still there. Now let's see if we do the extrude, if it'll work. Oh my god. It found those surfaces on sketch 3 and, and created them from scratch. So we're doing great. I just want to back up and have a look at the extrude. How did this, how did I get these little boxes at the back to extrude up to here? So double click. So I picked sketch three. So that's this sketch here. And I, instead of taking the default, instead of taking blind, I, I picked up to face. So, and then the face I picked was this top edge here. See, I click on that and see it's highlighting the top face. So, and I wanted to offset a bit because I have a, the thickness of my cover is two millimeters. So I didn't want to quite touch this end face. I wanted to be, I wanted to back up by two millimeters. So there it is there. And again, notice up here it says solid and add. When we did this hole, it was solid and remove. So that's good. So the next thing I need to do is I need to put a cover on this box. So let's see what we got for a sketch here. Now that's unfortunate. We can't see the sketch very well. There is a sketch there. I'm just going to zoom in. I don't know if you can see it. There's a a little dot there where, well, I can see it. There's a little dot there, just a little gray dot. It turns orange when I go over it, so you can't really see it. That little gray dot is telling me that I do have a sketch line there. Let's kind of do the sketch thing again. I'm going to I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I'm going to look at the whole sketch. Ooh, I just wanted to delete the sketch or delete the sketch lines. I guess I can't. I guess I'll have to do it like this. So I've clicked all those lines and now I'm just going to hit the delete key. But dang, the line's gone. I don't know what happened here, by the way. <clears throat> so let's see what I can do to get that line. I want to... Oh, I was editing this sketch. What happened here? Edit sketch. Okay. So face of extrude. That's, that's the right face I want to work on. Um... Where's the offset? There's the offset there. I had trouble with this in class. It kept giving me two lines. So I'm just going to click it once. I'm going to click this once. So it should go around the outside edge. And look at that. Back it up here. So it looks good, except I've got a five. I'm going to click outside. So there's, there's my sketch there. I wanted this to three millimeters. Three, enter. So that works better. The other thing I wanted to do is I just want to take this three and get it outside so that it, it's easier to see. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Let's, I'm just going to do a control Z backs it up as well. So I want to change this to a three, enter. Uh, so if I try to delete that, uh, uh, let's just back up. Control Z. 
Good. I'm just going to change that again. I think what happens is I still had the offset command picked. So when I clicked again, it put on another offset. So I just want to change that to three. Oh, there must have been two lines on there. I'm going to back up again. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Uh, go ahead, one. Okay, so let's see if we can change that to a three without duplicating anything. Three, enter. Ah, perfect. So I'm going to take this and drag it out here. So, so far so good. Let's see if our extrude works. Hmm. I need to get out of this first. Okay. So that sketch should get extruded by here. So we did have a screw up back in the previous, uh, previous life here. Looks like the screw up happened way back here. So rather than get all nervous and, tr and click and stuff, I'm just going to go back and just edit this one. This is a pretty common uh, error. You can see it says uh, extrude did not regenerate properly. Select face or sketch region to extrude. So, so this lost its sketch somehow. Edit. Oh. The hole is missing. I guess I accidentally deleted the hole. So I'm going to exit out of that. I need to put a put a sketch in here to fix this. So let's drag this up. Hey. Sorry about that. I got a little freaked out when I saw all these red ones. I don't know what, what was causing it, but they, they went away. So I've got this line around the top here. I'm just going to drag this bar down and see what the extrude does. Oh, it doesn't look like it worked, eh? Select a face to terminate the extrude. So I'm missing this face here to for this to be offset from. So double click. We get the edit. So face of extrude. We want to use this face. Hmm. Oh, we want an offset distance. Oh, actually, no. We, we needed to extrude. We were extruding in this direction. Back up here. We just cancel out of that. If I double click or if I single click that. No. So that box should extrude down until it touches this. So let's double click that. Face of extrude face of sketch. So the sketch is on, is on the top surface there, the yellow line, and it's going down. So it's down to face. So I'm going to be going down to this face. So face of extrude. Notice I have to click that and make it blue before it'll take it. So I want to go to that face there. So it kind of jumps ahead and gives me this translucent cover. It's kind of handy because I don't have, if I pick the wrong face and it doesn't work, I don't have to go back out and go back in. I can just hang around until I get this translucent face on here. And notice it, it says new. I want this cover to be separate. If I accept it as new, it's going to be a different color. See that? A gray cover on a blue box. I'm going to just double click this. If I said add, it would be adding material to this existing box. 
We'll see if it does anything about this merge. Let's see. Look at that. It made a hollow box. Let's just take a look at that with this. We'll look at the uh, translucent box. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. I'm going to turn this view back to uh, shade, I think, is the default. And I want this to be a new part. I don't want it to be the same part as the box. So edit it. New. Okay. So I've got my cover on my box. So I wonder what the next step is. I think the next step might be getting into my other project, the shaft. Well, there it is there. One thing I should have brought up, uh, when, when you're doing... Uh, a really intricate thing like what I find in particular when you have little little zigzags like this it's always trying to grab the middle of the line instead of the line itself so be careful of that when you're when you're drawing stuff so when I drew this uh, in class I think I did this with a box draw you can draw it like this if you want sometimes sometimes it works well sometimes it doesn't you really want this line to line up with this line. So uh, when I did it, I actually just I did a big rectangle and, and took these little boxes out. But uh, managing these little uh, these little cuts, these little short little lines in sketches, they're usually a problem. So just take your time when you're doing these little things because they're going to be snapping to each other and all kinds of stuff. So sketch this out. I actually put some dimensions on it. Um, and let's let's edit the sketch so we can see the dimensions. So that's four inch, and I think I have an yeah. Look, if we turn on constraints here, you can see all the different constraints around here. So there's a whole bunch of that end connected to that end. Hmm, supposed to show which one's active when I do that. Oh, if I touch that. So that one is for these two. See that? The equals is for that one and that one. That equals that 10 millimeter. Uh, yeah, is for that one and that one. And there's a horizontal one there, and I think that's a vertical one. Oh, no, I don't know what that is. I don't know what's holding, making that vertical. Oh, and the fact that it has a dimension on it, so it has to be perpendicular to the dimension. Okay. So let's accept that. Now let's revolve it. That's one of the reasons why I have this line here, and this line is coincident with this line. So I'm going to revolve that thing. So you have to pick pick this sketch and pick this center line, and, and you got your revolve. Now I wanted to put a gear on here, and I wanted it to be a one-piece gear. So pretty involved sketch there. Let's Let's look directly at the sketch and see. I think I left the other sketch visible. Uh, let's just look through that part. Translucent. Yeah, the shaft sketch is still in there. See that? Uh, sketch 5. That's what we started with. The fact that I've got it turned on means I can, I can dimension to that inside sketch. Very hard to dimension to a circular object if it's if it's bending away from us. I put in a tiny little dimension here to keep that separate for I think I had a 0 0.05 millimeter, which is about one thou. The 
This has got a little tangent arc. I get one stuff. So the next one is a revolve, and that revolve also uses this. It's translucent, so we can see right through it the shaft and the gear. Now I want to do something really fancy. I want to cut into this surface. That gear is a very heavy gear because it's it's solid. We're gonna we're gonna thin it out in the middle. So we're gonna sketch. So you've got a little sketch there. I also wanted to transfer this, this feature over to the other side. I could do it in the sketch or I could do it in the feature. Features are actually, uh, when, it, when once this sketch gets swept, it makes a feature on this, on this gear. So let's see. Uh, There, I've cut, I've thinned out the, uh, this is called the web of the gear, I've thinned that out. And then I put a plane in here, I use this uh, center line here, this little center line I stuck in there. Use that to create a plane. So there's our plane, let's just line it up again. There's our plane going right through the center of the gear using that little center line there. And then I mirror that that feature. So now I've got a, a cut in both sides of that gear. Well, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, now I want to do, I want to kind of graze around and, and see what I've got here. There's a really cool feature. If I turn on section view, which is down here, it's going to cut through this. So it's asking me where to, what, what, what section plane do I want? So I want one of the original planes. I think I'm going to use the top plane as a section. Okay, top. Look at that. It's cut my gear and my shaft in half. Hasn't cut the box though. Look, the bottom of the box is right at that section. So when we've got a section view on, there should be an arrow somewhere. Oh, there's the arrow there. So we can move that, we can move where that cuts. We can move that around. Let's move this up into the box. Look at that. I'm just nicking one of the gears, cutting a big piece off of that gear, and I'm cutting right through the box. So that's our section plane. And it's available at the bottom of this menu. By the way, if you ever accidentally hit this, it takes up half your screen. It's a real nuisance. There's no OK or whatever. Turns out you can turn it off just by hitting that button again. So I hope this was helpful. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. I realize it, it can be kind of overwhelming. I'm going to move this plane in. I find it way too big. Notice I clicked on it, and then I can move these these round handles in. Yeah, let's move that in a little bit too. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of this section. I'm going to save this on. Oh, actually, let's take the translucence off here. Let's make it shaded. Here we go. There's our parts. Goodbye for now.